All right, welcome to Fort Richmond Collegiate Math Department. Uh, this is Solving Linear Systems Using Elimination, which is part of the Manitoba Outcome R9, and we're looking at part four. So let's get started with our first example. All right, and here is our first system. Uh, so we're sp supposed to solve this one using elimination. Now we've seen other methods before, uh, but now we're only gonna be focused on elimination. All right, so uh, in an elimination strategy, what we're going to do is try to set it up so that one of the variables is, well, it's eliminated when we add or subtract the two equations together. Right now, if I were to add and subtract these two equations together, I would not get rid of the x's or the y's. I'd have three x and I'd have one y as a result, and, and all I've done is create another line. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something here to my two equations. So I'm going to call this equation number one. If I can write on that later. Oh, give me a sec. All right, that's going to be equation number one right there. And I'll call this one equation number two. And then over here, I'm going to note what I'm doing to each of the equations. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take equation one and recopy it as is. I'm going to do nothing to it at all. Just going to recopy it. 2x plus 3y equals 16. Now with equation number two, I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. As a result, I get negative 2x plus positive 4y equals 26. Okay, now why did I do that? Well, the reason now is that when I add these two equations together, let's take a look what happens to the x's. I have two positive 2x, two and I'm going to add a negative 2x to that. And so when I add those two together, I get 0x. It's gone. I've eliminated the x. That's where the name comes from. Okay, over here then, we've got 3y plus 4y. That's 7y. And that's going to equal out to 16 plus 26. So a little bit of quick mental math, I think that is 42. All right, so now I have a very simple equation. 7y is equal to 42. If you divide both sides by 7 now, you cancel out the 7s, and you have y is equal to 42 over 7, or y equals 6. All right, now that I know the y value, I can substitute that value into either of my original equations in order to find x. Let's sub it into equation two for fun. Equation two says x minus two times y is equal to negative 13. And I'm gonna replace my y now with the value of six that I know. All right, so now I have x minus 12 is equal to negative 13. Adding 12 to both sides, I therefore have x equals negative 1. So my final step here is to state my solution, that I know the x value, I know the y value, and they are as follows. x is minus 1, and y is 6. Now I'd recommend at this point that we check very carefully to make sure that this has gone well. How do you check? Well, you sub those two values for x and y back into the original equations, and if that works out for both equations that the left-hand side does equal the right-hand side, then you have just shown that that is the correct solution. In this case, for the video, we're not going to do that. We're going to move on to another example right now. Okay, so here's our next equation, uh, or sorry, system of equations. Uh, minus 4x plus y equals negative 17, and 2x minus 3y is equal to 21. Now, using elimination, I want to eliminate either the x or the y. So how can I do that? Well, let's see. I could multiply the second equation by 2. If I were to do that, I would end up with 4x, positive 4x over here, and then if I added those two equations together, I would end up with no x's. But I'll show you, unlike the last time, that we could also eliminate the y, and there's, there's nothing terribly wrong with that. Ooh, a little bit of an error there. Give me a sec. Ah, now I've selected the right layer. Okay, here we go. So this we'll call equation number one, 
And this here we'll call equation number two. And this time, to eliminate the y, I'm going to multiply equation one by three. Let's see what happens. As a result of that, I end up with negative 12x plus 3y is equal to negative 51. The second equation, I will simply recopy that second equation down here. I have 2x minus 3y is equal to 21. All right. Now you see I've got a positive 3y and a negative 3y. And if I add those two together, well, the y's are gonzo. And just like that, I now only have minus 10x is equal to negative 30. x, therefore, is equal to 3. You can now substitute the x value in to find your y value. And once you have your x and y value, state your conclusion and check your answer just to make sure that all that you've done is correct. Okay, that brings us to the end of elimination. Uh, you've now seen three methods for solving systems. Uh, those would be to solve them graphically, and then two methods that are algebraic, solving by substitution, and finally today, solving by elimination. Okay, next time when we come back to finish off this unit, what you're gonna see is that there are certain kinds of bizarre systems that don't quite work out in, in the ways we'd expect. All right, we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching. I'm, I've